can't be in class today, but I wanted to give you some guidance so you know exactly what you need to do. So you're going to go to Canvas, you're going to go to Modules, and today we're working on Lesson 7. Yesterday in Lesson 6, we talked about knowing your values. Those handouts are available in class. They'll be on the table by the telephone, so you can get that if you need it. And what we did was have students respond, first with the Google Form, summarizing what the different values are in the article that we gave and showing how they might impact your financial decisions. And then we had students create a meme that reflects their financial values. That was yesterday. And today in Lesson 7, you're starting off by reviewing the memes here in this discussion. Then you've got a quick article to read with some questions. You can It's a quiz and you can try it two times. And then you're going to create a GIF. And this GIF right now, it says zero points down here, but that's going to change. It's going to be a scored assignment. So you want to do that. Let me go through these in detail. The meme review says a couple of things here. It says you're going to go on to lesson six. And this is a direct link to the discussion with the memes. And you're going to comment on the memes that are there from other students. Please make sure that your meme, before you do this, is there, that the image is visible, but there's a link as well, so I can see how you made it in Google Slides, and then there's at least three to five sentences per question. There were three questions on that post. Go look at the questions and make sure you've answered all of them, and make sure to comment in a positive and specific way on the work of two other students. Then there'll be a printout of the article here. Read it, it's a pretty cool article talking about values, and then take the quiz that's based on this article right here. You can take it twice. Then we're, we're going here where you're creating a GIF and the idea is that you know we talk about values in this class and we talk about how values influence the way you spend money and we also say that well your values come from somewhere. They come from your experiences and your connections to other people. So in this assignment you're creating a GIF that shares what your biggest money lesson is or has been up until this point. What is the biggest lesson? You're going to create a GIF to do that. And um, the GIF, you're going to create it actually in Google Slides. And it should capture your biggest money lesson. And you're going to post the GIF right in the discussion. You're going to post a link to the Google Slides used to make the GIF. And then in a total of like five sentences, you don't need to do five sentences per question. Um, summarize what you're saying in this GIF. Like, who gave you this lesson? Where did it come from? Um, where where did this lesson happen? Was it something specific? What was it about? And how does it apply to your, your life now? Like, what is this lesson all about? Because if you make a GIF, it might not be so clear as to how that you got this lesson or what this lesson even means. Now, there are lots of videos down here. And I'm going to show really quick right now the basic idea of what you're doing. But this video shows in detail how you can make a GIF in Google Slides using an app called Tall Tweets. So you're going to have to watch this video. It's going to help you. I mean, I'll give you a quick overview right here, and that might be enough, but I think you need to watch it. You should be pausing it as you watch it. And then if that doesn't work for some reason, if you have an issue, there's a quick video here that uses Google Slides and a different app called Creator Studio. And then you can go down here, click reply, put your GIF in there. It should be fairly easy to do. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean right now. But let me do a super quick run through. So you go to your drive, you should have a folder for memes, and we're going to rename it to memes and GIFs, right? And GIFs. And yes, you might say GIFs, that's fine. They're both correct. In here, we're going to create a quick Google slide. And I'll show you the basic idea, really rough. Now your GIF should have an image in the background, you should think about the sizing of the page, but I'm just going to show you what you're basically doing. And what I would do is, I think in the other videos I use impact, you can use any font you want. I'm going to type hello. I'm going to enlarge it, let's say to 100. And then I have one, two, three, four, five letters, so I'm going to make five slides. Duplicate, duplicate, <laughs> duplicate, and duplicate. And I'm actually going to do two more. Let me see why in a second. All right. So I'm going to work back, I want to say hello, hello, and then I start deleting letters. Now watch this. This is pretty cool. Delete two letters, so it's every slide builds one more letter than the last. And I actually recommend making the full slide 
um, before you, uh, like whatever you're gonna type out in your GIF, type out the full phrase and then work backwards to delete everything. So this one's gonna be blank. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna take these slides and animate them essentially to do this. And hello appears twice at the end so that the word sticks and doesn't just vanish right away. So here, if you go to add-ons, you'll see actually that Creative Studio is right there. And actually, that might be easier now than using tall tweets. And watch what I do. I just go over here, click Create GIF. It's working right now. It might take a little while. This will pop up on the side right here. It's loading. OK, now um, it says Output Width in Pixels. So it says Height Adjusted to Mass match aspect ratio you can mess around with this intervals how long do you want each slide to be um, displayed for I don't want two seconds it's way too long let's say 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.25 quarter of a second and we're not making a video we're making an animated gif I click go oh what's this say let's do 0.2 okay it didn't like hundredths so I did the nearest tenth so it says render complete it's ready so now I'm going to click download because I want to download the GIF. Let's see what it looks like. There it goes. Boom. It's loading, loading. This is a math textbook. On, on my computer, look what it's doing here. It's loading a bunch of images. That's not useful, right? Did it work? Well, let's go to Canvas. Let's, let's see what we're doing here. So let, I have my, my GIF. I'm going to insert image. I'm going to grab that GIF and it'll treat it as an image file. I think that this will work just fine. So there's the GIF, hit open, and there it is. It's a GIF, it's working. I click Submit, let's see how it looks. And yay, there it is. Now, it's a little bit pixelated right here, and I, I'm gonna go back here and see the output width of pixels, right? We can up that. Let's say, let's see what happens if I do 500, that should be good enough. And let's do it again. Make the GIF, it's loading it right now. It's a little bit bigger, might take a little bit longer. Render completed, download it. Boom. Now let's go back here. Let's see if it improves. We'll, we'll show them side by side. Insert, image, upload image, boom. Okay, there it is. Let's see how it looks. It should be bigger. It's much clearer. Click Submit. So you can see right here, um, it, you might have to mess around with it a little bit. That looks clearer to me. Over here, it's larger, but also clearer. This is a little bit fuzzier. It's showing the GIF. Now, when you make this, those other videos are there with other ways of doing it and all the details of what you might do to, to be successful here. Just make sure it's got your name right here, right? Sean's GIF. And make sure that this file is shared because you want to put the link to this in, right, in the post. So you have a GIF, you have a post, and then you explain like why, you, why did you do this? Why did you pick this and what are you saying? So make sure there's an image, make sure there's a GIF that works right there so that we can share it with others and then click post and you're finished. And that's it for today. So again, go to modules. If you miss something in lesson six, that's there for you. You can go back and do it. In lesson seven, that's your job today is to finish lesson seven. Start by making sure your meme is there. Your image is there with the link and, and a couple of sentences per question. If you don't know what the questions are, go here and take a look at them. Comment on the work of two other students in a positive and specific way, and then go through the other steps. You get an article and questions and a GIF, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks.